So we need the spiritual empowerment for us to fulfill our destiny. Amen. But this spiritual empowerment is not free. So, quickly, what is the cost of empowerment? And does it cost really? According to Matthew chapter number 25 and verse number 9, talking about the parable of those uh, ladies, the ten virgins, to be a virgin without power is useless. He said, but the wise answered. Those who were wise, when they were begging, say, give us. Because what they were carrying was not able to reach them to their end. Oh, yes. The reason that why they were there was to attend the wedding. And they had lamps. And their lamps were burning, but the, 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 the bridegroom didn't come in time. And they were running out of oil. They begged from the other five wise virgins. They said, no, 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 no. This is what their answer was. They said, but the wise, verse 9, but the wise answered saying, not so, lest there be not enough for us and you, but go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourself. So, Empowerment has a cost. Amen. It has a cost. Amen. It has a cost. Amen. Isaiah says, Go and buy. Not with man, I think. Isaiah 55. There is a buying, but not with money. And after you have bought, sell not. Oh, everyone that says, it, Come ye to the waters, and he. That has no money, come ye, buy and eat. Ye come, buy wine and milk without money and without price. No, no, no. It appears like he's contradicting himself. He said buy but without money. He's telling you that we don't buy with money. That is exactly what Acts chapter number 8 and verse 18. Clear states from verse 18 to 22. And when Simon saw that through the laying of hands... Of the apostles' hands, the Holy Ghost was given. He offered money. You see what he did? Yes. He offered money, saying, Give me also this power. Mm -hmm. It was nice to see the display of power. He said, Give me also this power mm -hmm. that on whomsoever I lay hands. In other words, I want to have it the way I want. Mm -hmm. On whomsoever I lay hands, he may receive the Holy Ghost. I want that whosoever I get involved with, there must be heaven's approval. Because that's what the Holy Ghost does. But Peter said unto him, Thy money perish with thee, because thou hast what? Thought that the gift of God may be purchased with money. Because you thought the gift of God can be purchased with money. The gift of God is not purchased with money. It's purchased with something else. Amen. Amen. So, empowerment has a cost. Oh, yes. Amen. So, that's what I want us to look at. What is the cost of empowerment? I know I am talking about empowerment in general, but I think it's important for me to let you know what it takes to be empowered so that if you are willing, you can subscribe. Amen. Amen. So, but I need to show you the cost before I can show you what empowerment will do for you. So what is the cost of empowerment? Number one, consecration. Amen. What? Consecration. consecration. To be set apart for God is what it shall cost you. Consecration. Psalm number 45, verse 6 to 8. Psalm 45, verse 6 to 8. He says, Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. The scepter of thy kingdom is a right scepter. Thou lovest righteousness. Are you hearing that? Yes, sir. That's consecration. 
Thou lovest righteousness and hatest wickedness. Therefore, the, the, the God, even thy God, has anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. The anointing that has empowered you to be above thy fellows. The oil of gladness is that oil that makes people to be excited to deal with you. Amen. That, that oil that makes people to be glad to meet you. Sir, if people are not happy with you, they won't help you. The oil that makes people to be excited about your proposal, that get excited, they see you and say, hey, this is a girl I want to marry. And yet, according to you, you were rating yourself as number 10. But they didn't go for others. They came for you because yes. you are an empowered lady. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Esther was not a young girl at the time she took part in some competition. She was quite older than them. But she was picked. Because something came upon her. Amen. The oil of gladness is that oil that makes people to be excited to, to say, they look at you, they say, I, I feel like helping this one. I feel like doing business this one. Yes. That oil of gladness is what results in acceptance and attraction. Amen. That will be your portion. Amen. But guess what? That oil, that anointing, that empowerment comes as a result of what? Consecration. Consecration. Oh, thy garment smell of my and aloes and cassia out of the ivory palaces where thy they have made thee glad. 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 Even angels are happy to work with you. Amen. Amen. Because there is a clothing on you. Amen. An empowerment. Amen. Consecration. Amen. Luke chapter number 5, verse 38 and 39. But new wine must be put in new bottles. And both are preserved. Amen. No man also having drunk old wine straight away desireth new. For he says the order is better. What is he telling you? Create a new wine skin. Amen. For fresh oil. My God. For fresh empowerment. Amen. So, I'm showing you what it what it costs to be empowered. Amen. And I'll pick one of them from the course. That's the one I'm emphasizing for today. I sure you are with me. Yes, yes sir. Amen. In Romans chapter 8 and verse number 13, Romans 8, 13, he said, For if you live after the flesh, you shall die. But if you, you through the spirit, do mortify the deeds of the flesh, you shall live. So there is a power that kills the deeds of the flesh. Amen. There is a power that kills the deeds of the flesh. Amen. That kills the desire for sin. Amen. It comes via empowerment. Oh, yes. Are you sure you are with me? Yes, sir. Second Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 13. Second Thessalonians 2, verse 13 says, But we are bound to give thanks always to God for thee, brethren, be brethren beloved of the Lord, because God has from the beginning chosen you to salvation through sanctification of the spirit and the belief My of God. the truth. Oh, yes. You don't only believe, but you are set apart. You are yes. sanctified. Mm -hmm. You are made fit. Amen. I'm sure you are getting it. Yes, sir. It is the spirit that sanctifies. My Amen. God. Number two. What is the number two cost of empowerment? Prayer and fasting. Amen. Prayer and fasting. Psalm number 63. Verse 1 to 2. Psalm 63, 1 to 2, he said, Oh God, thou art my God. Early will I seek thee. My soul thirsteth for thee. My flesh longeth for thee as in a dry and thirsty land where no water is. What am I looking for? To see your power. Amen. To see your power. My God. To see your power Amen. and your glory. Amen. I want to see your power and your glory. Amen. 
Because while darkness is covering everybody, I don't want to be covered by darkness. Amen. I want your glory to be seen upon me. Amen. But how to get glory is through prayer. And fasting is a booster to prayer. Amen. You will encounter power. Amen. I say you will encounter power. Amen. I want what I have seen in the sanctuary. The miracles I've seen performed in the sanctuary. I want them to be in my individual life. Yeah. If the same way a demon is chased, I have seen such power in church. I want the same power that when a demon is bothering my business, I cast them out. Amen. See the way I see the power in the sanctuary. What he saw in church, he wanted it in his personal life. Amen. Oh, somebody is catching me. Yes, yes, sir. He said, I've seen your power. Oh, yes. I've seen mentally disturbed the people being made free. Amen. I've seen all manner of sickness go. But if I can have the same power in my personal work, I will succeed. Amen. Amen. No more failure. Amen. Amen. Uh, somebody is catching me. Yes, yes sir. sir. In Isaiah 58 and verse number 6. This is what prayer and fasting does. It's not, this is not the fast that I've chosen to lose the bands, to lose the bands of wickedness. In other words, whatever wickedness has tied, whether it's a womb that is tied, whether it's a glory that is tied, whether it is the resources that are tied, there is a loosing of the bands through prayer and fasting. Amen. Whatever is yours that has been tied somewhere, as you are fasting and praying, there shall be a loosing of such. Amen. He says to undo heavy burdens and to let the what the oppressed to go free, and that you break every yoke. My God. In Isaiah 45, he says, I'll lead you, Cyrus. I'll lead you through gates. I'll lead you through iron bars. I'll break them to release the treasures there. Amen. Sir, there are treasures somewhere. Amen. Meant for you with your name on it. Amen. But we need an empowerment. Amen. And in this season, you are breaking through. Amen. In Luke chapter 4 and verse 14. Remember, this number two, I will go deeper. So I'm glossing over. And Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit into Galilee. Now, he had been into Galilee. But when he went to be baptized by John, then he went into 40 days prayer and fasting. And he returned into Galilee. Just like you, you return to your business. Amen. You will return to that thing you were doing before. Amen. But this time around, you shall return in the power of the Spirit. Amen. And guess what happened? And there went out a fame. The business people didn't know. The business you are struggling to, to have people to, pat to patronize it, it's fame will go. Amen. People didn't know that you have a certain kind of skill. Amen. People didn't know that there are certain things you can do. Mm. But all of a sudden you are spiritually empowered, your fame goes everywhere. Amen. Amen. You will not know the one who will submit your CV somewhere. Amen. And they will like your CV because of empowerment. Amen. That's how it goes. Yes, sir. Oh, yes. So, prayer and fasting is one such cost Amen. for empowerment. Amen. Number three, the ministry, the ministry of the word. Oh, yes. The ministry of the word. Amen. In Acts chapter 6 and verse 4, it says, But we who dedicate ourselves to the ministry of the word, who dedicate ourselves to the ministry of the word, what do they mean? We will dedicate ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the word. It means we will be studying the word of God. We will be pumping it in ourselves. Are you sure you are catching me? Yes, sir. The word has power. Oh, yeah. Romans 1 verse 16. He says, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus. What is the gospel? The good news. For it is the power of God unto salvation. Amen. Amen. The word of God is one platform. For empowerment. Amen. Taking in the word of God is getting empowered. Amen. Even as you are listening to the word of God, you are changing levels. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That's how it works out. Oh, yes. The word of God has power. Amen. When you take it in, it is changing things in your life. Amen. It is a platform for empowerment as well. 
Amen. It's a platform for what? For, for empowerment. Second Timothy chapter four, verse thirteen to fifteen. Second Timothy four, thirteen. He said, "The cloak that I left at Troas with Capas, when thou comest, bring with thee and the books, but especially the parchment." He said, "Alexander the copper that did me to give you the Lord reward him according to his works." Verse fifteen. Of whom also thou also you know, withstood our, of whom be thou aware also, for he hath greatly withstood our words. You see, he was withstanding words. Oh. Why? Where are they opposing words? Because words carry power. Words carry what? Power. The Bible says, where the word of the king is, there is power. Amen. Amen. So, wherever the word of God is, there is power. Amen platform of the word of God is a platform for empowerment. Amen. Amen. Number four, fellowship. Oh, yes. Fellowship is the, another cost of empowerment. Amen. Fellowship. As you have come for fellowship, you don't realize that every time you, you come before God, you are empowered. Psalm Amen. number 84 and verse 7. He said they move from strength to strength. Isn't that empowerment? It is. They move from strength to strength. Every one of them that appeared, uh, of them in Zion, that appeared before God. Mm. So every time you attend the fellowship, you can't be weak. Amen. That's why the Bible in, in, in Hebrews 10, 25, let us not as forsake the assembling together as some are there, but even as we the Lord, what does that mean? It means every time we fellowship, we are empowered to be standing and avoid falling. Amen. 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 That's why I don't like people who deliberately absent themselves from fellowship. It's not a good thing. It's not. It's not. It's not a good thing. Yes. Many of you can attest to the fact that you came to church in a certain state. By the time you leave, you leave church, there's a certain kind of energizing yes. that came in you. Amen. Because fellowship is not a place of weakness, it's a place of empowerment. Amen. Amen. Many don't realize. It also includes fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Mm. You end up being empowered. So fellowship with others, fellowship with the Holy Spirit. It will empower you. Amen. It's another platform for what? Empowerment. For empowerment. Of course, the whole Psalm number 92 from verse 1 to 15 speaks of empowerment and the, the benefits thereof. Number five. What is the other cause for empowerment? Is sacrifice. Amen. Is what? Sacrifice. sacrifice. Second Samuel 24, 24, he said, I shall not offer to God that which has costed me nothing. I shall not offer to God that which has costed me nothing. The power that averted the case came through sacrifice. Amen. Came through what? Sacrifice. Came through sacrifice. The power that made Solomon To be wiser than everybody else that put him on top, that brought such exhortation and promotion, came on the altar of sacrifice. My God. Sacrifice makes you to get into league with God, and whosoever is in alliance with God is a winner already. Amen. Psalm number 50, verse 5. Gather my sins. Who have made sacrifice? Who have made covenant by sacrifice? Covenant is agreement. Covenant is what? Agreement. agreement. There is an agreement. There is an alliance. If it's nations, it means there are those agreements they have signed that they will be helping each other. For example, two nations can sign an agreement to say, if a thief runs away from my country to your country. You help me to bring him back for justice. Yes. The agreement. It doesn't just happen because it's another nation. You need to have an agreement. Oh, yes. You need to have a covenant. You need to have what? A covenant. covenant. And covenants are enacted by sacrifice. Amen. Are you sure you're catching me? Yes, yes sir. sir. 
The world knows this. Many people who are seeking help from some quarters there, they don't tell them to go on 40 days of prayer and fasting. No. They tell them to offer sacrifice. That will empower them to have something. Political power, they go and get it through sacrifice. Oh, yes. Sacrifice releases so much power. Amen. Amen. And thanks be to God. One woman wanted their, their children, her children to be above the rest. Mm. So I came to Jesus. Say, hey, I want my children. want to be on your right. want to be on your left. Jesus said, it costs. So promotion is costly. Amen. Promotion requires power. Amen. And the power thereof is sacrifice. Amen. Number six. I pray that somebody is catching something and their lives are changing. Amen. Amen. Number six. What is the number six? Cost of, of empowerment. Kingdom service. Amen. Kingdom service, Matthew 6 and verse 33. Six says the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Then the rest will be added. So it means as you seek God first, as you, you take, uh, you, 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 you advance God's interest first, what happens is you receive power to gather what you couldn't have gathered by your strength. Amen. Amen. They follow you because you have chosen kingdom service. Oh, yes. It's a platform of empowerment. Amen. John chapter 14 and verse 21. John 14, 21. He said, He was my commandment and keepeth them. He it is that loveth me, and he that loveth me shall be loved of my father, and I will love him and will manifest myself to him. That is what happens. So a person who loves kingdom service invites God to manifest himself through them. Amen. Amen. And that is empowerment. Amen. I see grace resting upon us all to subscribe to these things in the name of Jesus. Amen. So we saw number one cost is concentration, two prayer and fasting, three ministry of the word, four fellowship, five sacrifice, six kingdom service. And I will end there in terms of cost of power.